Okay, so this is the quiz number three. From here to here, uh, you can imagine the car moves from zero to one meter. It has to slow down. Why is that? Because it has to turn around, right? In order to turn around, it has, velocity has to be zero. So from one to zero, and that's this. From zero to negative one, that's this. And from negative one to zero, go back to zero, is this one. Car moves to the east, right? The car hit the gas over here. As a result, it mo it accelerate. So velocity is maximum over here. So the velocity is maximum over here. What does that mean for graph? The velocity is maximum over here, right? The velocity starts decreases, decreases, and velocity is zero over here, right? Because the car has to turn around. So velocity is biggest decreases 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 and zero on the top good and the car turn around right the car turn around this car is turning around okay no no turning around for the car okay yeah and moves this direction right so it velocity is zero so velocity is zero over here and it has to accelerate, right? So velocity from zero to small, bigger, even bigger, and biggest as it moves over here. And that's what we're gonna show uh, right here. Okay, this time the car moves to the west. As you see, the car moves to the west, right? The velocity is maximum over here, getting smaller, even is smaller than zero over here. The velocity is zero over here and getting bigger and bigger and zero over there. Why zero over there? Because the car over here has to turn around, right? It has to turn around and go back to home and it is going back to home, right? With the, with the, with the velocity over here is small and then bigger and bigger and even bigger right as it comes over here so that's why do you want to see over uh, there all right i hope i was able to give you the motivation of this displacement versus time gap where it comes from good so the road is from positive one to negative one all right so the car moving back and forth Okay, good. It's spending how long? Four seconds. So this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. Okay, good. Now let's do a few things. Let's first do divide this in four segment segment one all right so we're going to call it segment a what is going on in segment a velocity and acceleration right all right what is going on at segment b what is going on at segment c and segment d all right so velocity is positive Velocity is negative, velocity is negative, velocity is positive. Acceleration is negative, acceleration is negative, acceleration is positive, acceleration is positive. But how? Let's see how. Let's convert this one to VT graph. Let's see whether our VT graph agree with this one. As we said that, the maximum velocity is over here. This is, by the way, a VT graph. Maximum velocity is over here. Maximum velocity is over there. And velocity is zero over here. You need two points to make a graph to connect them. You know this one. One second. Velocity is zero over here, but speed is, uh, uh, velocity is zero over here right but velocity is maximum over there okay 
How can you do that? Well, you need two points. This point is right here, and you need this one, right? You connect them. Velocity is zero over here, right? Okay. So, oh, by the way, this one is at two seconds, right? Two seconds. So velocity is, velocity is, um, velocity is zero over here, okay? Velocity is zero over here, velocity is zero over here, at what second velocity is zero? At three second velocity is zero, right? Let's write it nicely. At three second velocity is zero, okay? At three second velocity is zero, velocity is maximum. Okay, and from zero velocity, velocity increases, increases, and velocity is maximum over there. Okay, and this is at four seconds. Okay, good. Now let's see whether it agrees. Is velocity positive over here? Yes, velocity is positive. Is velocity is negative over here? Yes, velocity is negative. Is velocity is negative over here? Yes, velocity is negative. Is velocity is positive over here? Yes, velocity is positive. So you can use your VT graph to construct this. Now let's see whether we can draw the AT graph similar. All right. What is the slope of this one? Negative. For how long? Zero to two seconds. What is the slope of this one? Positive. For how long? Two to four seconds. Okay. So, zero to one. So, zero to one second, acceleration is negative. One to two second, acceleration is negative. Two to three second, acceleration is positive. And three to four second, acceleration is positive. Okay. So now we're going to find our displacement. Remember our displacement is, change in displacement is df minus di. Okay. So 1 minus 1 minus 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. So this is 1. 0 minus 1, which is negative 1. 2 to 3 seconds. Negative 1 minus 0, which is negative 1. Finally, 3 to 4 seconds. 0 minus minus 1, which is positive 1. What are you discovering? If displacement is positive, velocity is positive. If displacement is negative, velocity is negative. Positive. You should have discovered that. Good. Now, you're going to try to find the area under the curve. Okay, so let's do that quickly. We have All right. So this is the area under the curve. We have to put the y-axis and, and so many other things, but let's do one thing at a time. Okay. Let's make this second visible. This is one second. This is two seconds. This is three seconds. This is four seconds. Good. All right. What do we know? We know that this is one. We know that this is negative one. We know that this is negative one. We know that this is one. Okay, good. 
Now we need to know this because this is velocity versus time graph. How can we do that? Well, that's simple. Displacement is equal to well, area. This is area is equal to half VH. We are talking about one segment, segment A. What is the area? One, half. What is the base? Delta T. Okay, so we can say area is equal to delta T and H is velocity. So area is one, half. Delta T is one minus zero, V. If you multiply both sides by two, then the last is two. This is two, this must be negative two. Good. All right, that's it. Now, velocity versus time graph. Area is, okay, one meter plus one meter uh, minus one meter minus one meter plus one meter okay right and the name of the area is displacement so displacement is one minus one minus one plus one is zero meters okay why is that because the object is started at home and ended at home so the displacement is zero meter so how can we find the distance to find the distance we have to draw s t graph. We're going to first take the absolute value of this line. Since this is positive, absolute value of positive is always positive. This is negative. Absolute value of negative, absolute value of negative slope is a positive slope. Absolute value of negative slope is a positive slope. Absolute value of positive slope is positive slope. So we're going to draw, we're going to write one, two, three, and four. So we're going to draw area under the curve. And this one and this one all right so absolute value of Negative absolute value of as you see that I'm gonna, absolute value of one is one. Absolute value of negative one is one. Absolute value of negative one is one. Absolute value of positive one is one. So this is S T graph. What is the name of the area? Area. How many segments I have? Segment A plus segment B plus segment C plus segment D. Segment A is half BH because this is a triangle. Half BH, half BH, half BH. Okay, since this is two, this one has to be two as well. Okay, good. All right. So area is half bh, base is time, and this is velocity. 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 Half, one, velocity is two. Half, one, velocity is two. Half, one velocity is two half one velocity is two two times two 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 cancel two two cancel so area is one plus one plus one plus one so area is four meter 
what is the name of the area what is the name of the physical quantity under st graph of distance so total distance the object move in this four second is four meter total displacement this object move in this four second is of course zero meters and i hope you have a full understanding of distance versus time graph speed versus time graph absolute value of acceleration versus time graph displacement versus time graph velocity versus time graph and acceleration versus time graph